Hello everyone, so welcome back to Programming in Swift and this week we're looking at the challenges set in spirals to help us learn about variables. Remember what a variable is. A variable is something that changes. So if you have a number that changes, so say if you were asked, each time you asked uh, for an order of cups of coffee, you got a different number of um, orders, that would be a variable. Or if you were changing colors, those things change. So that in itself is also a variable. Now, let's have a little look at the spirals code or the spirals playground in our Swift app. On you go guys, this is a good one. It's a lot Hello of fun. everyone. Um, so today we're looking at spirals, which is this application here or this playground here. The way you can find it is by going to your more playgrounds and looking in this selection and it will actually allow you to find your spirals from in that list. Okay, so if you go into challenges or something, spirals is at, right at the end. Once you've installed it, we're looking at the variables in here. So what we're looking at is this shape making different styles and different patterns. So really it's more about you guys just having a play and changing variables. Remember, variables are things that can change throughout our task. The first task is, is easily done. Then we have this thing called hypocycloids. Now, all you're being asked to do is to experiment. Edit the values below to see how the hypocycloids Hypocycloid changes as the size of the circle changes. So you're just going to tap on these and change their sizes and see what happens. An epicycloid, in this text it tells us that an epicycloid means it's above the track. So that means it appears here. What it tells us is that the wheel radius has to be negative if we want the circle to go outside. So if I make this a positive, it will put the circle back inside the track. And if I make it a negative, then it will put it outside. So let's make it negative three. And then I'll have completed the task. And I'll put an epicycle. Remember, those are variables because the values change. Now I can change something else. I can change the color here as well. And I can change them into different values. After that, we've got uh, hypotrochoids. And then it will give us a set of instructions in gray about what we might want to try out. And we need to be considering our spoke length. When you leave these, you get really cool patterns. So see what you can create and see if you can create different patterns and images that you'll submit to your teacher. And again, there's certain rules. Right now, wheel radius is set to positive and you can see it's a high volt. You need to edit the code to make it epi trochoid. Remember what we said early, if it's epi, the wheel radius needs to be negative. So I'll need to change this value to a negative. So this variable needs to be changed to a negative if it's going to be epi. Finally, uh, we've got ellipses um, or ellipsis. And in this one, all the information in the instructions are given here. So this tells us it needs to be twice as long as the wheel radius. So if you need to speak that, you can get it set up, highlight it, and go to your speak if you have that set up. Okay, so give it all a go, work through it, see what you can create, and see what other values you have. 
When you completed it, you should have a green set of ticks throughout the whole set of these tasks. On you go guys and enjoy spirals. Good fun.